shot her, Mr. Belden. The horse thief. He did, huh? Where? At the station. He's got your saddle. You talked to him? All he said was to tell you he's coming. He did, huh? Where's Linda? Is she on the train? She wouldn't come out here. She went to the Harper house. Harper house? Why? I don't know, Mr. Belden. Well, let's take care of this fellow with the saddle first. Probably fixed to collect himself a little reward. Well, he'll get it. He'll get it. Take the saddle into the harness room. You need me, Mr. Belden? Have it cleaned up. Huh? Hello, Craig. Hey, Bert Morgan! Hey, you all. When I was coming up here to shellac a horse, thief. I swear I wouldn't take a million dollars for this. I brought your saddle back. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Where'd you find it? A long ways from home. Clear to Pauly. Did you catch the horse thieves? I will. Ah, that'll keep. Come on in. Hey, we got a lot of drinking to catch up on. A lot of years, Craig. Yeah. Well, how do you like it, huh? Not bad for an old saddle tramp. You haven't changed much except for this. Yeah. Out of heck with it. Here, we'll drink to old times and friendship. You know, Matt, I must admit, I don't think I've made a friend since you and me split up. I've, uh, I've bought a few, though. Come on, sit down. Hey. <laughs> Who'd ever think that you turn out to be a marshal? <laughs> I finally figured out the other side didn't pay. Yeah. To the law. <laughs> Matt. You know, I sure wish you'd come in with me when I wanted you to. I got this whole part of the country sewed up. I'll tell you what. You can still be a partner. No, thanks. I kind of like what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, I got this whole spread. I got nobody left but Rick. That's my boy. My wife died. I didn't know that. Yeah, nine years ago. Well, that's the way it goes. You spend all your life working for something. All of a sudden, the reason you wanted it is gone. Here, let me give you another drink. Craig. Tell me about that saddle. Well, Rick Barty was going up to Dodge City for a couple of days. He and a friend of his named Lee. On the way back, they stopped at Pauly for a drink. When they come out, the, the horses was gone and my saddle, too. What day was that? Let me see that. Well, that was last Sunday. That's the day my wife was killed. Your wife? <clears throat> yeah, those... Fellas that got your saddle, they murdered my wife. That's why I want them. Gee, I'm sorry, Matt. Yeah, I've been talking about a couple of damn horses. So no wonder you're after them. Matt, if there's anything you need, men, anything, you know where to come. I'll ride with you. You know, I was in my office straight through the day that it happened. It's funny that your son didn't report having those horses stolen. Well, they probably never thought of it. You know, nobody around here goes to a marshal. They all come to me. Yeah. Matt, do you have anything to go on? As far as I can see, those fellows could walk right through that door. You wouldn't know them, huh? I wouldn't know them both, but... I'd know one of them. Well, that's better. How? My wife got him across the face with the lash. Petey was there. Petey? Why? 
I got a son, too. Nine years old when he was there, Greg. Petey said she laid his cheek open to the bone. Well, something. You know, a cut like that would leave a mark for quite some time. Yeah, I, I guess it would. I think I better have a talk with your son, Rick, and his friend. Well, uh, uh, they're not here, Matt. Uh, besides, they couldn't tell you any different than they told me. Uh, there wasn't a barn, Polly, and the, their animals got stolen. That's all there was to it. Is that what your boy told you? Well, uh, that's what they both told me. Which one's got the cut, Craig? What? The mark on his face here where my wife lashed him before they raped her and murdered her. Now, what are you talking about, man? I'm talking about your son, Rick. He's a liar. Yeah. He's a liar! We got two saloons in Pauly. They're both closed on Sunday. Well, maybe I got the story wrong. Maybe it wasn't on a Sunday. How, how do I... Which one's got the cut, Craig? It was your boy, wasn't it? No, man. Wasn't it? No, Matt, it wasn't. I'll find out, Craig. If it takes me years, I'll find him. He'll still have that cut. Suppose I could locate them for you. I take them both back to Paulie. They'll stand trial for rape and murder. Matt, you're my best friend. I, I'd do anything in the world for you. But you leave that boy alone. This is my son you're talking about. No, Craig. It's my wife we're talking about. You don't lay a finger on that boy. You're leaving on the next train. I own the sheriff. I own this town. I own every man in it. You're leaving on the next train, man. All right, Craig. The last train leaves at 9 o'clock. I'll be on it. But there'll be two men with me. And one of them will have a cut on his cheek. 